Yeah, you can be Mr. Jingling once in a while, right? Someone said that once, and I, <laughs> I don't know how to Are take you that. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I don't know what that means, but I think it means uh, that you could be if two people now have said it. Well, perhaps. you have a leprechaun costume, so maybe we could add <laughs> no, some red stripes costume. on it or something. You and I both know this we retired that a long time ago. This so, is true. Um, but yeah, it could be an interesting weekend. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see where things go. We'll uh, maybe have a little wine and see where things go with the costume <laughs> from there. Uh, but, you know, Betsy, we've been talking about this big temp drop this weekend, right? Again. P people don't like Saturday afternoons that are turning colder, and it's going to be yeah. kind of a hit in the face for all those outdoor uh, plans on Saturday. But until then, boy, enjoy tonight. Enjoy early tomorrow morning. If you're up early enough, we're going to have uh, some pretty mild weather around here. I'm going to go a lot slower today, Rob, so uh, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. I have got the running shoes on yesterday. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying your Friday afternoon. Congratulations, Northeast Ohio. You made it to the weekend. Travel wise, a lot of people still try to make it to their weekend there. I 90 out towards Eddy Road. We're at 48 degrees right now. Average high this time of year, a little bit less than that. So we're above average right now. Notice that wind out of the south at 15. That's what you're going to notice is that wind increasing as we go throughout the evening. So just keep in mind, we went through this two days ago. But if you have, you know, holiday decor that you have out that doesn't have the stakes in it or is prone to flying around, uh, we are going to have a a pretty decent wind event tonight and tomorrow morning. So now is the time to get outside and stake them in the ground or whatever you need to do. That wind is a warming wind, though. We're up to 51 Akron right now. Ditto that downtown 50 in Canton. Same thing down in Dover. We've got 40s elsewhere. A mild wind. It's sustained anywhere from about 5 to 20. We've had some gusts uh, downtown over 30 at times. You see these are some of your latest wind gusts, strongest out towards the west as of right now, and that will continue to be the trend. The wind will pick up tonight. Reason why the wind's picking up, we've got a strong area low pressure out towards the southwest. Whenever you have low pressure, it's just that. It's not high pressure, which sinks down. It's an area literally like a vacuum in the atmosphere, so all the air has to come in to fill that. So that's what this wind is, is all the rush of wind and air heading in to fill that low pressure that is out in the plain states. And as that low gets stronger, the wind will get stronger around it as well. So you notice some of these gusts tonight. Yeah, we're over 40 at times. I think there's two time frames we need to watch. It's between 10 and 6 a.m. And then another one right in here as that frontal boundary passes. We're likely to get some gusty showers with some strong wind gusts out of that. You notice the wind advisory out for areas pretty much along 71 and west. But it's going to be windy everywhere. We've had a couple of stray showers out there. This is that warm front trying to make its way through. We're not expecting a lot of rain here this evening. Just a quick shower at best. Notice there is some rain down towards the south and the west. Doesn't look like a real defined front, right? You can see the wind flows there out towards the west converging in a point. But overall, it's not really a well-developed frontal boundary yet. That happens pretty much over us. Here's your strong area of low pressure. You get the flow going up into that. The thing that's driving this is the temperature change. We go from 50s from here back towards Chicago. Look at that pier right now sitting at 16. This is a punch of Arctic air coming into this air mass. And this Arctic air is going to go just like that in the matter of 24 hours. And that will move through us. And that's what we feel tomorrow. So let's time it out. National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. Yeah, there's your showers tonight. Again, nothing that lasts too long. We're still at 50 degrees at 11 o'clock. In fact, temperatures go up overnight. We're in the low 50s tomorrow morning with more scattered showers around. Here comes our frontal boundary. We're now at 9 o'clock. Moving through Cleveland, probably around 8, 830, 9 o'clock out towards the Akron area, Ashtabula. And once that front goes through, this is where we get the strong winds with that heavy rain. The winds will be roaring with this potential power outages. But the other thing is once it passes, you'll notice the wind shifts. We go from 50s to 40s to yeah, 30s, just like that. By noon, we're all in the 30s. A brisk wind out of the northwest. We could have some lake effect clouds around, not expecting much snow from this. Otherwise, bright sunshine in the afternoon, but colder. Wind chill values will be in the upper teens, low 20s with this. And again, not a lot of snow. Sunday looks nice. Winds will start to relax. Where do we go from there? Boy, next week's certainly interesting. We do get a system. We're still calling for some rain on Tuesday. We've got cold air coming into the country, warm air coming in the north. There's going to be a boundary right here. And look at all this activity along the boundary. How far south does that cold air get? Do we get snow out of this or do we continue to get these waves of rainfall next week? That's going to remain to be seen. Does look to be an active week in terms of precip. Euro hinting at maybe we do get some snow finally out of this, but really no big signal for any big snows, at least as of right now over the next seven days. Union Home Mortgage. Seven day forecast temp drop tomorrow. Sunday looks great. Wind will be a little lighter. There's our rainy system Tuesday, Wednesday. And again, we're going to paint 
just scattered showers around here next week, but that's going to be a system to watch later next week as well. Christy? Mm, appreciate the heads up there, Matt. Thank, Thank you so you. much.